here is actually a <laughs> what's up youtube yes yeah, your boy again gray man 47 i'm coming back at you with another video hey if you haven't already make sure you smash that subscribe button that really helps the channel grow also like and share this video don't be afraid to drop some lines in that comment section also Hey, yo, today I'm on my way to the range. I'm going to shoot the FN 509 Tactical. So I'm going to put some rounds through it, check it out, see how I like it. Before I get to the range, take a minute, check out this quick tabletop on that gun. And once you guys are done with that tabletop, I'll meet you at the range. Peace. All right, so when you buy the FN 509 Tactical, they give you a case. The case that it comes in is kind of a soft tape case uh, made out of nylon, and it also has... Um, their emblem embroidered on the front of it, the F and the N. Uh, so pretty nice case here, it's pretty sturdy. Couple of handles, you can take it to and from the range uh, and it just zips around the side to open it up. So let's take a look inside uh, this case. Just so y'all know, this, this gun is actually not mine. This is a loaner gun. I'm actually uh, borrowing this gun from my nephew. So shout out to my nephew for letting me borrow this gun for the review. Uh, it is his gun. But, like I've been saying, I think after this review, I'm probably going to end up uh, buying this gun for myself as well. So, uh, again, shout out, nephew, for letting me borrow your, your pistol for this review. So, the FN 509 Tactical is a full-size pistol uh, with a full-size grip. Uh, it is a, a rather large gun, um, but just uh, like I said earlier at the beginning of this, it's a fan favorite. I hear so much about this gun. Um, so we're going to take a look at some of the specifics on this gun and also take a look at how my nephew is running uh, and what he's running on this gun also. So this gun is a striker fired 9mm gun. Um, they uh, usually comes with two magazines, one being a 17 round magazine and the other being a 24 round magazine. If you live in one of those other states, you might get two 10 round magazines with this pistol. Um, so right now I have in the gun a um, 17 round magazine which has a flush base plate, all right? Also, this gun is in flat dark earth. Typically you see this gun, um, a lot of times I see this gun in flat dark earth because I think it's one of the, the more popular um, setups or color schemes uh, for this pistol, but you can also get it in black and I think you can get a flat dark earth frame with a black slide. So there's a couple different configurations as, tar as far as uh, colors are concerned. All right, so the 509 Tactical is just an extension of FN's 509 line, which was the gun that they submitted to the United States Army for bidding contract. Uh, so this is just another extension of that. So they made it more uh, useful in terms of uh, being tactical uh, than the original pistol itself, all right? So one of the things that you notice on this gun uh, is when you look at it is the fact that there is a light on the Picatinny rail and my nephew is actually running a um, Olight Mini and I think this is the very first Olight, the original Olight Mini and so I'm actually going to take it off and put a couple other lights on there just so that you can see uh, what they look like. If you choose you can also put a Olight Mini 2 on there and it fits on there just perfectly as well. So if you like the Olight Mini 2, that's also uh, available uh, and works on this pistol as well. Also, if you like the Olight um, PL Pro, that's another one that fits on here very well. And it does extend past and beyond the slide and barrel, uh, but it does fit as well. All right, so that's another light. Uh, one of the others is the Streamlight uh, TLR1. That also fits on here as well. All right, so you have your choice of lights that you could put on this Picatinny rail, and I think it looks good with any of them. All right. In addition to the Picatinny rail, this slide uh, has nice texture. Um, it is very uh, aggressive uh, on the front strap and back strap. Uh, oops, hit the light front strap and the rear strap as well. The gun also comes with an additional back strap if you want to change that out. Uh, maybe you want a larger palm swell or a smaller palm swell. Uh, it does come with an additional back strap, which I know a lot of guns are coming with these days. Uh, the side panels have the FN logo on both sides and it's moderately um, aggressive in terms of texture. There, the controls on this pistol as far as the magazine release 
uh, they are ambidextrous. So there is a magazine release on the right and left side of this gun. All right, the slide stop also uh, and be also as well. So you do have a slide stop on both sides of the pistol as well. All right, the trigger that comes with it, the stock trigger, I've obviously not shot this yet, which I will be taking it to the range during this video, so you'll get a chance to see that. I've heard good things about the trigger as far as it's um, um, the, the crispness of it, the, the defined wall of this trigger. I, again, I'm not a trigger snob, so I'm sure the trigger will uh, feel good to me, but I have heard a lot of good things about the trigger that comes with this pistol. So um, again, as far as the frame is concerned, my hands are fairly large and I can get a full grip on this pistol, which I really, really like. Uh, my third finger is not hanging. My pinky finger is not hanging over the edge. I got plenty of room and I feel like I have a strong uh, grip on this pistol because of the length of this handle. Moving on up the frame, there is kind of a cutout beaver tail um, isk uh, uh, set up here on the frame. So you can get a nice purchase on that gun and prevent slide bite as well. So a uh, very nice frame, just feels good in the hand. Uh, gotta say that uh, right now, first impressions on this frame, I really like the way that the gun actually feels and presents. All right, moving on up to the slide. You do have slide serrations in the rear and they're pretty aggressive and also aggressive slide serrations in the front as well on this pistol. Um, again, the slide is flat dark earth, but the barrel itself is black, so that color scheme kind of offsets and it looks good. Um, as far as the sights are concerned, they are Trigicon Tritium Night Sights and they are also Suppressor Sight Heights. You got a Tritium Valve in the front post and you also have two dots, two tritium valves in that rear post as well. And it is also um, the rear post, or I'm sorry, the rear sights are also uh, serrated to reduce glare. Same thing with the front post. All right, so really nice setup here out of the box. Also, obviously by looking at this, you can tell it comes out of the box uh, with a, um, it's cut for an optic. Um, so that's another benefit to this pistol is it's already cut for an optic. So these things that I've just kind of mentioned to you guys also lend itself to the tactical name uh, in this FN509 pistol. All right, um, the, the optic that he is running is a Trigicon RMR, uh, which is one of the top of the line uh, RMR red dots, really good red dot. He is running that on this pistol, so as you can see, it fits and looks really good. Uh, he got it in black. I did see these. I think it's a flat dark earth uh, color that some people uh, like to run on this pistol when it's in this color configuration. But I think that black really offsets and gives it a pop as well. All right, so like you guys know, uh, with the suppressor uh, height sights, uh, you can co-witness straight through the glass of your RMR. Um, it makes it really easy to pick up your sights if your RMR should go out or fail or the battery fails. So those suppressor height, height sights out of the box, great feature. Also in addition to that, as a part of the tactical package, this pistol comes with, this version of the pistol comes with a half inch by 28 thread barrel. So it's ready to accept the suppressor. Uh, a lot of um, nine millimeter suppressors do have the half inch by 28 uh, thread. So it is a, a really easy uh, gun to um, set up and run as a tactical piece, hence the name 509 Tactical. So right out of the box, um, this gun is ready. Uh, if you add you know, a couple of things like a light and a um, red dot optic on the top, um, you're ready to go. I can't say enough about the pistol so far. So again, it feels really good. I can't wait to get this thing out to the range and shoot it and just see how it feels. One of the things before I head to the range I'm going to do is just kind of give you a quick comparison of another full-size gun. And that gun is a Glock, um, Glock 17 Gen 5. Um, the Glock 17 Gen 5 is uh, a full-size pistol as well. As you can see, I can get both uh, hands on the frames uh, with a full grip. So uh, that's a plus for both of them. If you look at the barrels compared to each other and the slides, You'll notice that the slide for the Glock 17 is a little bit longer than the FN. 
However, with the extended barrel um, ready for suppressor, it makes them about the same in terms of length. And, and as a matter of fact, the FN might be slightly longer. As far as the butts are concerned or the handles are concerned, they are very similar. I think the FN might be just a tad longer or they're very close. They might be about the same. Um, so here you go. That's how it looks in comparison to a Glock 17, which is a full-size pistol used by many uh, law enforcement and federal agencies. Um, this FN Tactical measures up to that very well. We'll see how it measures up to it out on the range. Because what I might do, I might shoot both of them and just kind of see how they feel uh, in comparison. I know this has a little bit of an unfair advantage with the red dot on the top, but just taking in consideration how the gun shoots, um, I might be able to compare them just a little bit. I know a lot of you guys feel like Glock is standard. If you can compete with Glock, you can compete with anything. All right, y'all, so I'm at the range. I just arrived. I'm getting ready to walk up and uh, put some rounds down range. So uh, let's get it. All right, y'all, so I'm going to put the first few rounds through the um, FN 509 Tactical. I'm going to start out with the um, flush base plate uh, and see how that runs. And then I'm going to try the 24 round magazine with the extension. All right. So uh, I'm going to put about 10 rounds down range, try it out, see how I like it, and go from there. Let's go. All right, y'all, so far so good. Um, I'm gonna use the uh, 25, 24 round magazine now um, and see how that goes. Um, just so you know, I'm at about five yards at this point. I usually don't shoot too much between, uh, too much further than between five and 10 yards. So uh, I'm still at five yards, just like the first time. So let's go. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna move back to about 10 yards. Uh, I'm gonna shoot some uh, with two hand, my two hand grip, and then I'm also gonna switch over to some one hand shooting and see how that goes. All right, let's go. So far, I'm really digging this um, FM509 Tactical. Uh, shoots well, but I'm gonna I'm hang on for a minute. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts a little bit later, but I'm gonna shoot it a little bit more. And then like I uh, said earlier, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna compare it to the Glock 17 and see which one I like shooting better. So let me put 10 rounds down here uh, with the uh, 509, and then I'll switch over to the Glock 17 uh, before we move forward. Let's go. All right, y'all, 10 yards, I uh, just shot the uh, 509. I'm getting ready to shoot the Glock 17 at 10 yards also, and just see uh, the difference between the two. Um, so let's get it. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna give it about 15 yards um, with each gun and just kind of see how they shoot uh, from a little bit further out. All right, let's go. All right, Glock 17 at about 15 yards.
Hey, guess what, y'all? You got a little bit of bonus footage. I got the Canon TP9 Elite SC uh, with the Swamp Box. I'm putting some more rounds through this one. I'm still gonna give you an update on that. Here's a little bonus footage for you. All right, y'all, so there you have it. Some range footage um, of me shooting the uh, FN 509 Tactical. Um, so just my final thoughts. I gotta say uh, that I really like this gun for a number of different reasons. Um, just one of them being the pointability of this gun. Um, I could just pick the optic up super fast or, along with the sights. I think part of it has to do with the grip angle. Um, it just feels good in hand. I can get a full purchase on the pistol. Um, and the trigger also has a really nice crisp pull. Um, I'm not sure what, how many pounds the trigger is, but it doesn't seem to be too heavy or too light, um, just perfect. So the gun itself absorbed recoil um, in a really good way. I was able to hit my target um, every time I wanted to, very accurate with this gun. And again, guys, this is the first time I ever shot the FM 509 ta Tactical. So I was very pleased, um, I'm sure um, the Trijicon RMR on the top was a little bit uh, of, a, of an advantage for me with this pistol, but I think I outshot the Glock 17, which I have some range time with. I mean, I've shot the Glock 17 uh, quite a bit, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with this pistol, but I think the FN um, 509 Tactical is just, just has that edge to it. And again, part of it might be the optic that I had on it. Yo, I have to say that the hype is real. The hype around the FM 509 Tactical, um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I think I'm definitely gonna go out and get myself a copy of this pistol um, sometime in the near future. Uh, I liked it that much. So this is a gun that I'm definitely recommending that you give it a shot if you already have it. Um, really nice gun for home defense, um, for uh, a truck gun. Um, and if you really want to, you could um, carry this pistol as an EDC. Uh, I would say minus the uh, large light, the Olight um, PL Pro, put something a little bit smaller on there like the, the Mini or the Mini 2. Uh, but you could, if you really wanted to carry a larger frame pistol, you could still carry this gun. So uh, if you're looking for something to fill any of those needs, um, the 509 Tactical uh, just might do it for you. All right, folks, so that's it. That's all I got for you on this one. I'm coming out with more content uh, on a regular basis, so check the channel. Make sure, if you haven't, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'm Grayman47, and like I always say to y'all, if you ain't packing, you're slacking. I'll see you when I see you.